Hey Leos, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for Ju July, <laughs> July the 1st to the 15th. This is a love reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I know that I crossed the line with you. I wish I had treated you better. Hmm. So somebody is regretting how they treated you. They may be even afraid to reach out to you. This person wants you. Maybe someone else, they saw you with someone else. Tell me more. I'm starting to understand our connection and I wish I could take back my words. Ooh. So somebody here, this could be you or someone that you are dealing with. Um, yes, it's somebody saying, I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I had treated you better. I'm afraid to contact you. I wonder if you're happy without me. Mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's use the... Let's go ahead and let's start off with the Romance Angels. And let's see what other messages we got. Give me a message for Leo, please. For July the 1st through the 15th. Yeah, there, there's getting ready to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to heal something. Um... Yeah, after some deception, pay attention to the red flags. Someone here could have been married. Maybe you found out that somebody here is married. But there was definitely some deception going on. Okay, so maybe you decided, hey, I'm going to put myself first. And maybe you decided to walk away from this person. But now this person wants to come back and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and heal this situation. They're coming to you with their feelings here. A trust factor is involved. Um, yeah, somebody definitely decided to free themselves. There could have been, somebody could have been married but separated. Maybe you got to know this person, okay, while they were on a separation. Because I am picking up like there was somebody um, married or somebody was with somebody for a long time. All right. Somebody had to let somebody go in order for some new love to come in. Somebody had to let go of someone. Or you guys are deciding to let go of this person for someone new. All right. So... Let's look at the tarot. Let's see what we get. Oh, before we go into the tarot, let me look at the Kipper. Let's look at the Kipper deck here. I'm feeling like somebody walked away from a connection. They found out the truth about something, about their person here. Tell me what's going on with Leo's for July 1st to the 15th. Oh, okay. Great fortune and expectation and a mature man here. Okay, so somebody here could be expecting... I feel like this could be your person. Like your person could be expecting for you to... Give them uh, money. We got pathway. So somebody here is the man here. Somebody here is stuck in a situation. And somebody here had to make a choice. Okay. On where they wanted to be. Who do they want to be with? This is house. Who do they want to stay with? Okay. There's that expectation. 
Maybe someone is expecting someone to get a divorce. Okay, we got courthouse here. Privileged lady. Yes, yeah, see, somebody here has some money. Somebody here has some money and is very privileged. Yeah, I'm definitely picking that up for sure. Tell me more. Distant horizons. Okay, we got a mature woman here. Okay, so this could be someone's mother, someone's grandmother, um, someone that's possibly like a little older. Could be involved. You and this person could be at a distance. Like a physical distance. Or you just feel distant from this person. Yeah, and we got sudden wealth. Okay, so somebody has concerns, financial concerns. Yep, poverty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow, all right, so... I keep wanting to go to the tarot, but then I want to pull from other decks here. Let's pull from here and let's see what else we can get. Tell me more about Leo's person. Tell me what's going on with Leo's person. Stressed. Okay, so this, your person is stressed out. Oh, they got some codependency issues here. We got attachment. Your person is stressed out. Could possibly be uh, about work or stressed out from work um, or finances. But I got attachment here. Someone wants to get married. We got submissive and let's get married. Someone here is guilty. Yep. Someone is guilty here. So they're feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty. That's why they're stressed. Okay? And it could be because they could possibly be married or is already in a situation. Somebody wants to get married. Your person here has anxiety. They're in, having anxiety because there's gossip going around. And they're needing to clear their head. Okay? Your person is, is trying to clear their head. They're stressing out. Yeah, they're tired. Um, they're tired of the situation that they are in. Okay. We got fatigued and tired and domesticated. They're tired of the situation that they are in. But I'm getting content. They're content with... Um, they're content with something. But then they're tired of being in the situation that they're in. Maybe they were tired of being in their um, the situation that they were in. Tell me more. Family, yeah. They feel this person is feeling guilty. Your person is feeling guilty. They're sad. They're sad over um, a, a female or male here. We got divine feminine. Okay. This person is crying over their divine feminine or divine masculine. They feel guilty because there's a lot of gossip going on and they're having anxiety. They're uh, also fearing that they're fearful. They may be having bad dreams. They maybe can't sleep at night. And I'm getting a lot of stalking going on. I'm even getting that they may be crying tears. Okay, so this is a touchy situation because I do feel like a family is involved. I am feeling like family is involved. Maybe they have a family with you. Maybe they have a family with someone else. But I'm just getting like somebody is feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty about something. Okay. Tell me more. What's going on with Leo's for the month of July? 
July 1st through the 15th. Tell me what's going on with Leo's. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands wanted to jump out. Maybe you're waiting for a communication from this person. Yeah. I feel like there is a lot of deception going on, a lot of sneakiness going on. Could be with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Could be involved. We got you guys' energy here with the strength card. Definitely, there's been some type of ending. You got tired of waiting. I think you may have uh, felt stuck or somebody felt stuck here. Okay, let's see what's, what's, tell me more. On the page of cups. I feel like you're waiting for communication from somebody. The 10 of pentacles. Chariot. Knight of Swords. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, lots of Swords, and the Devil. All right, so getting a lot of stuck energy. I feel like you're waiting for a communication or you're waiting for somebody to make up their mind. You could possibly, possibly um, feel like you're at a crossroad. I'm getting like waiting on somebody to apologize. Maybe you're waiting on this person to apologize to you. Why is the page of cups here? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, you're patiently waiting. To get some type of message from this person of an apology. I feel like you're uncertain if this person is going to change their mind. Um, why is the Eight of Wands here? The Six of Wands. I'm getting a lot of people, um, a community of people, like a, I'm getting people are watching. Why is the Six of Wands here? Or people are talking. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. Four of Cups. All right, yeah. I feel like this situation brought you some, you know, like some disappointments. Maybe you feel like um, you thought that this was something that you wanted but maybe it turned out not to be. Maybe there was a breakup. I'm getting like some sour energy. I'm even getting a divorce here with the Three of Swords and the Justice. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Communication. I feel like you wanted things to move forward, but I I'm, I'm keep getting this seven of swords energy. I feel like you wanted progress, um, but there's somebody that's being sneaky here. So what's this about? Are you holding on to somebody? Um, I'm getting like holding somebody back. Or trying to hold somebody back from cheating. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. The Six of Swords, yeah. The Ten of Swords. I'm getting, I'm getting. You waited a long time. I'm getting like a long wait. 
There was a long wait. You waited for this person, maybe waiting for them to stop lying, being sneaky and cheating. Tell me more about this. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person could be very handsome, very charming. Could be a fire sign. Yeah, somebody's playing with somebody's emotions. Like, maybe you feel like this person is playing with your emotions. Okay. Now, for future energy, we got the Knight of Swords. Somebody's rushing in. Somebody's rushing in or they're rushing out. Now, we got the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Um, somebody's walking away from something. Somebody's making a decision to walk away. Queen of Pentacles is wife energy. This is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. And then we got the sun, you guys, is energy in the Three of Cups. So I'm getting like there's some type of celebration because somebody walks away possibly from a third party. Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, see, somebody can't make up their mind here on what they want. So there's a, somebody has some options. Somebody's giving, you could be giving this person a choice or an ultimatum. Now, I do feel like you, you're watching this person, but I feel like you're giving this person a choice or an ultimatum. Now, this person over here could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but they are, they are very... Mm, Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords, okay? This person is, uh, I'm getting like emotionally unavailable. Um, this person is really cutthroat at this time, for sure, for sure. This person may be feeling as if you have, you, you know... Or you have details about this third party? Tell me about the sun and the magician. The four of pentacles. This person has their guard up and they're keeping their guard up. I feel like they they feel like the truth has already been revealed and put out. Why is the ace of swords here? You found out this truth this truth already. I feel like the truth is a lot of you have already gotten the truth, or the truth is getting ready to come out. I'm getting somebody's forcing somebody. Like, it feels like some forced energy. Like, forcing someone to stick around. I feel like someone is going to end up regretting a decision. Somebody definitely has a choice between two people, especially with the lover's card here in this Five of Cups. This is somebody having regrets because a situation is just, the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody gets left out in the cold. But somebody here has been putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort. It could be you with this Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Maybe you feel like you deserve um, more from this person. You deserve more. I feel like you're putting in a fight. Maybe there's a lot of competition. Why is the devil here? You could be dealing with the Capricorn. But this situation does seem toxic, okay? And a little bit of codependency issues could be going on here. Tell me more about this devil. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. I'll tell you, like, somebody is saying, like, look, this isn't, this isn't going to work. 
there's a lot of this just jumped out the five of wands maybe you're in conflict and there's some issues that need to be worked on here before moving forward this person that you're dealing with could be extremely toxic the knight of pentacles came out in the reverse and we got the ace of pentacles nine of pentacles the lovers this person may you may not get the offer that you're looking for you may not get the offer that you're looking for why is the lovers here could be dealing with the gemini yeah we got the scene this i'm getting like somebody is t temporary and they're wishy-washy like they're they're here one minute and then they're going the next especially with the eight of cups there Somebody could definitely be married and they are on a separation. They're on a break. And I do feel like this is guilt. Somebody here is feeling guilty about this connection because they're feeling regrets. Somebody here is having regrets. Somebody told somebody that something was over, but they may be still looking back at this situation. They're reevaluating. Somebody's reevaluating this situation. And and even though I feel like somebody feels like some something was wrong. Somebody I keep getting somebody waited a long time for this connection. And I just don't I feel I just keep getting like somebody's a player. Somebody's a player here, and I'm getting somebody feels guilty. Somebody's starting to feel guilty about a connection. Maybe it's a connection for, for um, the, the third party. I can't even hardly talk. The third party that maybe they put you in a third party. Maybe they're feeling guilty about that. For some of you, you could be married to this person. They're having an affair or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But I'm just getting like somebody here is like feeling guilty. Somebody's feeling guilty. And some I feel like this could be the person that you're dealing with. And hence, that's why we got these cards over here. I knew that I crossed the line with you. I do feel like this person wants to be with you. But I'm getting like, they said something that they wish that they could take back. And I'm getting, I'm starting to understand our connection. Let's use some of these. Let's see. What we get. How does Leo's person feel about their connection? How does Leo's person feel about their connection? boundaries yeah see i'm getting that they felt like they have to make a decision or they have made a decision somebody has has to put up some boundaries healing your person is trying to heal and take care of themselves they could have some type of addiction okay Put away the computer. Working less will strengthen your relationship. Okay, maybe somebody has some trust issues with something that's going on on the internet. Okay. This person, like I said, somebody's married here. And they are rejecting their twin flame or their twin flame rejected them. Something's going on here for sure. For sure, for sure. Give me one more card. Patience. Because there is an interference. There is a passionate interference here. We got passionate interference. There is a third party for sure. And someone here. Someone here rejected someone else for a third party. Someone's having an affair here. 
All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see what this person wants to say. What does this person want to say to Leo? I'm sorry for blocking you. I was triggered. So some of your, some of you, your person has blocked you. Now they want to meet up with you. I want to make this work, but I'm getting, let's take this slowly, please. You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. I kept getting that your person like feels like they need to clear the head. I'm undecided about us. I need time to think this through. Don't rush me. I feel like that this I feel like the person that you're dealing with is really going through some things right now. They may have put the connection on hold. Because they're trying to figure out what their next step is going to be. We got romance. Okay, give me some more advice. Listen to your intuition. Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition on this on this situation. We got yes, be assertive. Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. Somebody here wants to compromise, but it's going to be like a year from now, and we got no. Okay, so we got the situation will improve. I feel like the opportunity is getting ready to come towards you, but be be likely be. This situation is unlikely, okay? Something about this situation is unlikely. There's more information that you need to know um, in order for this situation to be um, to go in your favor. I feel like you don't have all the details about, a situ about this situation in particular. I'm going to grab a few clarifiers. Tell me about listen to your intuition. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgic energy. So somebody could be thinking about their past and how um, someone wants to work on something from their past, but I'm definitely getting a juggle. Somebody's going to make a decision to walk away. Um, but someone's still spying here. Like, somebody wants to work on something or give something another shot. If your intuition is telling you that someone is thinking about their ex or some somebody from their past, they are, Okay. Like, I keep getting somebody is having issues possibly at, in their home life with their stability. And I don't feel like this person is telling you this. I don't, I don't feel like the whole story is out. Now we got, yes, five of pentacles. Somebody here could be very, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody could be going through a hardship financially. And somebody here, I keep getting like, somebody's thinking about the money. Eight of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. Your intuition could be already telling you this. I feel like maybe some of y'all already know that this person could be codependent, okay? Nine of Wands. But I feel like some of y'all already are aware of this, okay? This Somebody's codependent upon you. It could be a Capricorn, okay? Somebody's codependent. Somebody's going through a struggle or hardship right now and is leaning on you for support. Page of Wands. Okay, someone's telling somebody, look, hey, you got to make a decision. You got to make a choice. Somebody's going back and forth. Okay, over here, then over there. Like, I'm getting someone telling somebody that's not going to work. Okay, yeah, see, with compromise, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles that popped out. 
and the king of pentacles it came out in the reverse whoever you're dealing with if you're dealing with the earth sign virgo taurus capricorn i feel like they could be going through a financial struggle i feel like you could be sharing things with this person you could be helping this person supporting this person but you're not getting the same thing in return from them okay this person could be making you do all the work while they run around and playing like no now we got a year from now two of pentacles a decision being made some of y'all are going to go ahead and decide to be single and focus on you focus on your money Somebody's keeping a secret. Maybe there's this thing is going to be kept a secret or somebody's keeping a secret. Possibly drug dragging this out for a whole nother year. Yeah, before somebody finally makes up their mind, makes a, a decision. Why is the moon here? The fool, yeah. Somebody's taking a, a risk. Yep. And somebody... Um, has some options here but somebody's finally going to make a decision and it's going to be out of the blue out of the blue it's going to happen and then we got no two of cups and the queen of cups okay a pisces cancer scorpio could be involved but something's saying no somebody's saying no that they don't want this connection Somebody's saying that they don't want this connection to happen, okay? Yeah, somebody's trying to block this connection with this Nine of Wands. Somebody's trying to block a connection here. Somebody's trying to give some, make somebody give up hope. And, um, yeah, like, somebody's <laughs> wants somebody to leave a situation, okay? This is a lot for Leo. I don't even want to leave the situation or leave the read like this, but it's just, I feel like somebody is going through some things. I feel like somebody needs to make up their mind here. Somebody has some things to think about. For sure, for sure. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? So if you're interested in booking a personal all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, you could check out my website. All right, 20% off today, guys, using code SALE20 at checkout, S-A-L-E-2-0, all caps. And you can get 20% off your entire order. All of that information is in the drop box below. All right, until next time, guys, ciao for now.